Hi everybody, so I have a fun and pretty special video for you today. Um, we've been doing a lot of classes on here and if some of you have seen about a year ago my boyfriend Christopher Sellers did a couple of classes for you and we both wanted him to do another one but this one is slightly different. One of the things in quarantine we realize is that, and especially with my videos, we sort of just blaze through bar and you do it and you haven't gotten a lot of training reminders and talking about technique and a working class. So that's what this is today. This is not just a class you're going to blaze through. Chris takes you through his entire bar, but it's a very technique focused. He talks through things. He shows you before and after. And it's just a good sort of workshop for all of you to keep your technique in check. Now, the combinations are, I'd say, intermediate advanced, but this is really good for any level to watch for all these technique reminders. So I encourage you to watch the whole video, even though it is long, but it's sort of like a workshop with Chris. Now in a, in a few days or a week or two I will be uploading just the, the bar portion if you want to take it like a regular bar. But I'm going to leave this up by itself for a little while because I really want you guys to hear what he has to say because he really is a, an incredible ballet teacher, far better than me. So you'll learn something from him. Demonstrating is 12 year old Ballet West Academy student Taylor Felsted. She is amazing. Please keep in mind she is 12. Um, music is by the amazing Stephen Mitchell. I'll link it below the albums that Chris used. Um, the other thing I want to preface this with is due to regulations and due to protocols for more than one person to be in a studio, we still have to be in masks. So Chris and Taylor are in masks, So, but with the sound and the mic and everything, you can look past it. But I know I'm going to get comments about that, whether you're one way or the other, but that's the only way we can make it work right now with both of them. So they are in masks. This is a working class. He's going to use Taylor to demonstrate, but I really think you guys are going to get a lot out of it. So enjoy. Hi, everybody. My name is Christopher Sellers. I am principal faculty and training division coordinator with Ballet West Academy. With me, I have one of our level four students, Ms. Taylor Felstead. And today we're going to just do a ballet bar focused on the things that I really, really, really pick apart in my classes with all, my, with all the students. It's really going to be more of a um, lecture sort of bar and just really focused on breaking down everything um, and building the uh, placement and stability for center work and all of those things. All right, let's get started. Yeah, you're going to start facing the bar. We're going to um, really focus on opening the hips and getting the placement correctly. Yeah, I always start facing the bar in parallel so that everything's lifted, lower abs. We go through the feet. This is to make sure you get the knees tracking appropriately. Very good. There are eight of those. Stretch the right calf for eight, 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 eight. Quad stretch. And the quad stretch, make sure you lengthen the front of the hip and keeping the lower abs in. Yeah, eight, eight. We're gonna open it first. We're gonna go tondu. Plie straight down, lift to the side. Plie straight down, lift to the back. Through first plie, open side, and first. Left leg, one, and two, and three, and four, and back. Through first plie, and side, and first. Side plie, second. Lift straight down, straight up. Again, all pelvis, draw in, lift up, side. Plie second, and in, lift up, over and forward. And over and forward. Everything to the back. Back especially, the first tendu derriere in the class, lifting up and stretching the supporting hip. Plie, bring the heel around, stretch together. Plie long, bring it front. Through first plie, lift up side and first. Da, 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 da. Side plie a second and in. Side plie a second and in. Over to the back. Remember, we don't take it into our back. We lift, and again, stretching the pelvis, opening everything up. Sound good? And then plie roll up. I always finish the first combination, plie, and heels. Now you stretch the shape of the ankles and the heels from the rotators, and you lift up there. So from the side, your ankles are already in the shape they're supposed to be. Find the balance in first. Find the balance fifth on no. Press open a second, and plie in first. And one of the most important parts of this whole combination is straightening, lifting under the arches with the whole leg. You've heard it all before, right? Good. All right, let's go. Six, seven, take the bar. Five, 
six, seven, stretch the right calf, and stretch. Good. You can use the bar if you want to push into the heel more. Good. And through the feet again. Good. Left calf stretch. And we go again. A little deeper. You can add the neck. You can add the shoulders. Roll the body. There we go. Get everything woken up. It's very cold here in Salt Lake City, so getting everything warm. And quad stretch. There we go. Front of the hip. Very nice. Forward, very nice, and stretch the quad. Front of the hip, lengthen the lower arms, very good. And we put it down, open the first. We go front, plie, to the side, plie, good, lift up through first, plie, and side, lift up, and left, front, plie, point side lifted, so we don't need a big shift, to first, plie, and side. Play a second. One, straight down, draw it in, lift up. Good. Very good. Every time we straighten, we lift there. After all of that, very nice, Miss Taylor. Yeah, we're going to do the plies that I um, usually give. I've had lots of teachers give me plies with releves in between in each position, right? And I've always, I always love that as a dancer setting up in the morning because it really gets that lift where we need it. So we're going to go six, seven, take the bar and drop the arm. We go demi plie. And as we stretch up from the bottom of the plie, you're already thinking about the shape of the legs and the ankles in the releve, and you go straight up into a straight-legged releve. Continue the arm grand plie all the way down forward. I always roll up first in my first port de bras. Back, tendu to do second. Same thing, demi, and stretch. And we lift four, five, six, seven, eight. Over, when we go away, lift up, ribs in. Straight up before we reach over through first, in fourth, fourth. I always cross my fourth in my classes because it sets you up for everything else. Later when we lift to the front, when we go higher to the vaunt or attitude or all of it, it's all in that alignment there, okay? So we find our balance. We do not do the grand plie here yet. Yes, find the balance. Six, extend, reach, third, plie fourth, circular port de bras all the way around, tendu. Fifth, demi plie, and two, and draw su su. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Arm across, breathe all the way around, down, plie, one more su su to find the balance in fifth position. There. Come to the other side of the bar, Taylor. Very good. All right, let's do. Arms in first, open second, 
Take the bar, drop the arm, fifth on bar. Demi. Lift. And straight up. Good. Lengthen. And grind. Good. And lift up to go forward. Roll up through the spine, one vertebrae at a time. Find it. Ribs in. And lengthen lower back to the back. And abs come up. Very good, Taylor. And side. Good. Draw up through the middle. Lift, lift, lift. Reach and grind. You're already shaking on the way up. Very nice. Yeah. And good. Lift up and into the bar. Good. Up. Now let go of the bar before we go side. We lift here. Under. Good. And up. Time to cross the fourth. And then knees to the side, pelvis in the middle. Draw up, cross the fourth. Good, reason. And third, reach, 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 reach. To the fourth, circular port of breath. Swap. Reach all the way in. Lift up. All the way back. Now we shape the foot off the floor here. Tondu. Lift to the Drop the arm. We go. Down. Good. Up to the middle. Cross. Lift. Lift. And grind. Arm. Arm across. We go. Breath. Reach. So we're gonna find the balance here. Now remember, we always want to bring that back leg forward and we match it with the front leg so our hips are square with the lower abs. And lift the arms so the ribs are in. Lift the heart. Lift, and we're gonna finish fifth on this side. Plie. And we breath. Good. Good. All right, let's look at fourth position before left side, okay? Can we find fourth on the right side? Here, okay, so we're nice and crossed. So actually face front for a moment. Yeah, so we want the balls of the feet on one straight line, right in line with the belly button and the heart and the nose. And we're gonna lift our arms up. Yes, we lengthen in the pelvis and we square. Good, you see how the ankles stop wiggling in that moment? This is your stable position, right, Taylor? Yeah, good. Let's look at it from the side though too. Come, plie, go just stand in fourth. There. So one of the most important things in plies, and it actually starts your whole placement, is making sure that pelvis is lifted in the middle of the leg. So when you go plie, back knee out, you know, straight down. Because what we like to do is favor the back. And we don't want to do that here. Yes, so that way we go straight up, go to the eleve from here. Sure. There we go. Yeah, and then she can let go and lift her arms and not wiggle at all. Yep. There's the strong position. All right. Let's go left side, Miss Taylor. <laughs> arms. Open. Drop the arm. Take the bar. And demi. Up. And we lift straight up. Follow the hand with the head. Grand plie. Very good. It's much better placement. See, this is what's great. We slowly build everything. Beginning of the bar all the way to the end. And lift up and back. Very good. Abs come up. Good. And down. And up. And one. Good. First. Open. Now lifting even more to go up and in. Lift everywhere but the shoulders. And it's very nice when we go away. Important. Very good. We're not rolling. And up. Good. Fourth. Now let's look at this fourth. Pelvis in the middle. Knees to the side. Good. And draw up. Good. And. And heart lifts. Ready. Very good. And circle. Slow, slow, slow. And in. Don't let the abs go when you go back. Lift in the front of the hips. Good. Draw. Square. Draw in the foot. That's very, very nice. If you guys would have seen it from the front, you would have seen that tongue do nice and crossed right in the middle of the sporting 
sounds good to you. And grow. Good. Big breath. Up round. Reach. Good. Abs. And long. Good. And please resume. Good. Good. Back heel. Back heel shaped with the back rotator. There we go. Open this hip. And lift the arms. And now. Good. Lift the heart, not the shoulders. There it is, and finish plie fifth. Very good. Starting to get warm? Yes, are you breathing at all? Yes. Okay, good, good. All right, firm first. Yeah, still one more to start with our placement of our pelvis, yeah? One more before we move forward. We're gonna go front, plie fifth, and out, straight to first. Inside leg, plie fifth, out, straight to first. Side through the foot, side plie second, and up, and in, and in, and in. Back, we're gonna do the head here today. There we go, plie fifth. Back, lift to first, keep it there. Back, lift to first, side through the foot, side plie second, and up, and in, and in and in, and then you know my drill. We go into the bar and forward, and into the bar and back, and we let go of the bar, we plie, we shape the ankles, and we lift up and first, then we lift the leg and house a cone, su su, de terne, and the first. So let's talk about that, because that bit gets really difficult here, and she's done it multiple times very well. So, first, go to the time second. Yes, I saw you marking, so we're gonna fix it now, yeah? Lifting up as we roll down. Now, that don't roll forward in this arch, yes? And when we talk about lifting up in the arches, never just roll the ankle back, yeah? You actually lift up in the arch with the rotator and the front of the leg, and that pulls the hole all the way up, yeah? So it spirals all the way around to lift the arch, yes? Good. Yes, so Tondu, now when we plie in second, you've heard lift in your plie or resist in your plie, but what we don't want, breathe, what we don't want is that. Ooh, I even popped my head, that was good. What we don't want is press. Yeah, we want, when we press through the foot, we do want that, but we lengthen the tailbone down like you have a weight hanging from your tailbone and it brings your pelvis right down but you're lifted everywhere else. Lower abs, neck, heart, ribs in and up, shoulders back and down. And then we lift right back to that position. So we lift up in the sporting side there. In, in, in. Okay, so let's see the plie second. Tondu. She drops there. Very good. And up and in. Ribs. Yes, good. That's good. We see that really, really well when you adjust there. It's good. Yeah, now. Take your hand off the bar. This is really, really hard. Yeah, and I always like to do this because, so plie in first, drop the arms. Now the heels come off the floor from here. Heels. Now we stretch up into the first with the arms up. Good. Now she's going to lift in the alzacon. She's gonna lift her heart and her head through the hands. Shape the alzacon. And lift in susu. Good, very good. And we're gonna detourne. And you draw in, and we place it back to first. Tondu, first. Good. Yeah, very good. Very good. Yeah, it's really, really hard. It's really difficult, but I always do it because you're here. You have all of that. You actually have to lift and shape there. And when we close Susu, we want to get even taller so we can draw up with our supporting leg. Sound good? And... Open, take the bar. We go front, plie, out, lift to first. Inside leg, good, wait, very good. Side, side, we lift. In, in, to the back. Don't keep it, yes. Good, and other side.
Heels forward. Very good. And in. Two. Three. Lengthen to the back. Don't let the ribs go. Tall as you see, see? Very good, Taylor. Now it's good. Take your knee, draw in, and back to first. And front, fifth. Up to first. And inside leg, fifth. Up to first. Side lift under the arch. Out and plie. Up and in and in. Very good. Not the right to back. Plie. Up first. Lift up in the front of the hip. Lift the first and side. And through. Side. Plie. Two. Three. Four. All the way forward. Good. Now when we go back, go into the bar. Good. We lift here. Don't let it go in the back. Lift, 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 lift. No, it's excellent, Taylor. I want to fix. Yeah, I want them to fix too, because I'm sure they all fell over too. I can almost promise you that. Okay, so um, let's go first up. Yeah, pick a side, any side. Good, here we go. Now this was great, Miss Taylor, so we're gonna stay here. So we have the ribs in. Now I always like to say lift your heart through your hands because we don't want the ribs to come in. It's the heart. We open here. Now this is very strong. Now when those heels drop back, know that your heels are held up here. When she presses Alice Cone, she lifts her head and heart over the supporting leg. Now we bring the right heel forward. Yeah, bring the leg a little. So that was good, Taylor. Bring it back out to Alice Cone. Good. We actually want there because you bring the turnout from there. There we go. Now find that balance. And draw Susu taller. And detourne. Do you see the difference? Yeah, so if we go for that 180 turnout, that was good. Yeah, you felt that, huh? Yeah, we were going too much with the turnout. Unless you're very, very lucky, which most people aren't, we don't have 180 degree turnout. Yeah, and it becomes a non-stable place. Yeah, we want to bring that heel forward. Try on the left. Yeah, so I'll go, just go up to releve. Yeah, ribs in. Now remember, when those heels wiggle, you hold them here. Okay? Now, heel forward. Oh, yes, no, that's okay. Good. Now, lift, take the bar, take the bar, go up to your supporting leg. And here, right here, is this shaping the leg. Yeah, that is bringing the heel forward. There we go. Now, get taller as you susu. Lift and good. One more time, because I have one more thing to say. I know, see, I, we take forever. Yes, Alice Cone. Yes, good, find that in good place. Your heel is lifted. Now when we lift, we don't lift our ribs. Close to Sue. Lift our heart. There we go. And they turn a, yeah. So, it's very, very, very advanced thinking, but we, won't, we don't ever want to lift with the ribs, right? We lift up and in, but so we don't do this, we open our heart through for that lift, and that'll get you tall, nice and tall. Good. We should move on. Yes? So, fifth position. We're going to go one coupe, and out, plie, fourth, and up, and in, and in, and in. Inside, back, back, coupe, back, plie, fourth, arabesque, and in, and in, and in. Side, coupe, front. Side, plie, second, and up, and back, and front, one of my favorites, plie, développe the front leg, devant. Now, can you actually face the front holding the bar? Yes, so, very good, Taylor. I know you had to fix her. Yes, this is your fourth on the floor from plies. 
Okay, so she is holding here and holding here. Go ahead, let go of the bar, arms up. I know it's hard from the back like that. That's not nice of me. But lift up here. So turn around. Do, do it uh, like it was normal. Face me. There we go. Yes. Now she has her hands in front of your, her. Good. There we go. And it's stable because of the crossed position. And those ankles are held with the big muscles up here. Okay. Then we're going to reverse. Yeah. Fifth. We can go back and coupe and out. Plie. Arabesque. And in. And in. And in. Front. Coupe. And out. Plie. And up. And in. And in. And in. Side. Coupe. Back. Side. Plie. Second. Up and front and back. Plie, devape arabesque. Go for it. Yes, lift, lifting the arabesque here, but pushing this heel forward from there. Find the balance. Good, cross the arabesque. And so, where are you falling? Backwards? Okay, so if we fall backwards in arabesque, it usually means because we're lifting from here. We want to lift from the supporting leg, press the supporting leg down. Yeah, press the sporting leg through the head. Very good, there it is, yes. Susu, and then detourne right to the other side. Yes, so susu, detourne, and there. Got it? Yeah. Okay, here we go. And, and, fin, coupe, plie, up, and fifth, and fifth, and fifth. Back, coupe, and plie, arabesque, and fifth, and fifth, and fifth. Side, coupe. Side, plie, up, close it, back, front, plie, and up. Susu, plie, and back, coupe, plie, arabesque, in, 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 front. Up, and in, and in, and in. Side, coupe, side, plie, up, front, back, plie, devote. Lift up. Good, susu, detourne, other side, and front, coupe. Plie, up, in, and in, and in, for back. Plie, up, in, in, in. Side, coupe, side, plie, goes back. Plie, and up, lift. Coupe, up, plie, arabesque. Inside leg. Plie, up, and in. Side finish. Very good, Taylor. Very nice, Taylor. Let's look, let's look at one thing though. Yeah, for this, I always love a plie fourth on my first tendu from fifth because we talked about the pelvis and the shape of the pelvis and the rotation in the legs in that first position. For here, go tendu. Now we shape this coupe, heel forward, toes back from here. We shape back, toes back. Here we go. Are we pulling back off our leg? Yes, we are. Good. Lifting up. So go back to Tondu. This is a reminder for everybody, yeah? You don't do it with just one leg. You do it with both legs. Both legs peel those toes back. Yeah, then we should be lifted, Tondu. Plie fourth with the pelvis in the middle. And then we spring up and in and in and in. Good. Okay? So those are things to think about in that combination. Yeah, I, I love shaping the legs and getting the hips ready in the first tendu from fifth. Okay, so it's good. Good things to remember. Let's do, let's do, and toes and fifth, and toes and fifth, and toes and fifth, and toes and fifth, and three with plie, and three with plie, and toes and fifth, and toes and fifth, and toes and fifth, and toes and fifth, and three with plie, and three with plie. You know the drill. First, two, three, four, five, six, plie. First, two, three, four, five, six, plie. All right, Taylor, show us. Wrap the foot, plie. Plie, wrap the foot, spring, lower, lower coupe. Yeah, there we go. No, sorry, lower, lower where the foot is. There we go, down. We want it down around. There we go, pretty, pretty. Now, that's too low. There we go, neck of the foot. Yes, find the balance. Plie on two feet, and pirouette, lift. Lift up, beautiful. And susu, get taller, 
Go back to wrap. Yeah, so we close Susu how? With the sporting leg? Yes, good. So with the sporting leg, yeah, we close, draw up Susu from here. There we go. They turn the other side. For this combination, when we do toes, I don't want you to squash bugs. I don't want you to push, put weight on this foot. These are actually mini tendus, right? You're doing this, again, from the rotation in the inner thighs. So you're actually going in and out, a little in out from here and fifth. Shape and in. That's it, Taylor, very pretty. And side, it goes in, out, and fifth, in, out, and fifth. So it goes one and the fifth and the one and the fifth and the side and the fifth and the side and the fifth and the three with plie. And three with plie. In, out. Now, back is very strange. Everybody thinks back is really weird. So let's look at someone with better feet than me. Okay? That's you, Taylor. Okay? Okay. So we're lifting up here. Yeah, when she goes in, the shape of the ankle stays. So she brings it in. That's all. Yeah, and keep the, keep the arch pointed. Just the toes. Yeah, so ladies, this is a really good exercise for point. Yeah, because you need to have those strength and articulation in your toes. And the back is very strange. You're not, go to do it wrong, get all five toes on the floor. Yeah, that is wrong. Yeah, it doesn't look so pretty either, does it? Yeah, but so from the back, yeah, lifting up here. There we go. We draw in in the shape of the ankle. Good. In, out, and fifth. In. Yeah, bring it in. There we go. Yes, man. Yeah, do it with the sporting legs. All right. Five and arms open. We go and in, out, fifth. In, out, fifth. And in, out, fifth. In, out, fifth. And three with plie. And three with plie. to say a lot is we don't lift the coupe. We lift everywhere else but the foot because we don't want the coupe to go up too high to a place that's a bad coupe or a bad retire. Yeah. So all I want you to do is we lift in the lower abs. We lift in the front of the hip. We lengthen the lower spine. We lift in the heart. We open the shoulders and press down. We lengthen in the neck. Yeah, we lift everywhere but the foot, and the foot actually comes just, you know how we did in the very beginning of class, susu drawing up from the bottom of the plie, yeah? So now we're gonna do the same thing in a quick movement. You're not gonna lift the foot, you're gonna shape the foot with both legs, yes? So from here we go shape, and we lift everywhere else. Okay, so plie, shape, and let go. Press the sporting leg. There it is, now plie. Do the same thing for the pirouette. And lift. There we go. Yes, much better, much better. So things to think about. All right, let's do the envelope fifth. It goes envelope fifth and the fifth and the fifth and the fifth straight. Leg back, straight leg front, and two to the side, and fifth. We go side, turn it in, and out. 
Plie and retire. Now, this is a good one. This is one of my favorites, okay? One of my favorite corrections. Good, lifting the heart. Yeah, when you get back, when you get back, lift the heart forward that way. And then we don't fall forward because we lift in the front of this hip. Yeah, so go back down to fifth plie. Now, remember, just like the coupe, yeah, we shape the retire with the supporting leg. So we lift up, we shape, go. Press the retire up, no, nope. slow. Can you go to coupe? Just go to susu. Let's just show them susu. Now, we have to lift the retire from here. Go, lift the retire, toes, toes, toes. Now I want you all to look at how beautiful her bottom ankle is. If you don't do that, if you just lift the retire, this happens which we don't want. She won't even let me do it because she wants it to be right. Very good, Taylor. Good. Yes, it creates that shape in the bottom leg that we want. So, envelope front, envelope back, envelope side, envelope front. Straight leg back, straight leg front, straight leg side, straight leg side. Side, turn it in, turn it out, plie fifth. This is a slow one. Again, it's, we're gonna do a, a retire that breaks the sound barrier next. Okay, but this one, is a slow press. We stretch open the hip, don't let the heart go back. Yes, good. And that beautiful bottom ankle is shaped because you're pressing your retire up with the sporting leg. Yes. Can you feel underneath here on the sporting leg? Is it screaming? Good. Good, lift up and over the knee and draw down the susu by lifting in this leg. So you get tall, yeah, oh, there it was. There it was, Miss Taylor. Yes, and then back and front, then side and back. Straight leg front, straight leg back and two to the side. Side turn and in, turn out, close back. Retire up, susu, detourne. Arms first. This is a stretch. Before we move fast again, take the bar. And fifth. Go side, in, out, press plie two feet, now lift, lift from the abs, lower abs, heart forward, press the sporting leg down the back, good, and, and out, and out, and to the side, length, length, and side. Fondue turn in, plie back, and shape the foot, shape the heel, shape the sporting leg, lift the heart, draw susu, go to me, other side, Keep it on the other front, good, and back, always lengthening in this leg, lengthen straight leg back, press, press, two to the side, lift, and, and side, Next one, now we're gonna move quick again. We're gonna go pique and fifth and the pique and fifth and the pique and fifth and the pique and fifth. And cloche and two and three and four, plie, retire, down the back. Pique and fifth and the pique and fifth and the pique and fifth and the pique and fifth. And front, back, front, back, plie, you're up, you're down. En croix, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Other leg, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, plie, up. Five, six, seven, plie, and up. Okay, so the reason I love en croix with both legs, the outside leg and the inside leg, because when we change, it's quick, right? We wanna go every direction. Face front, tendu side, close fifth back, go. That's very nice, good. She's making my 
video more difficult because now I have to make her do it wrong. Okay, <laughs> good job, that's a compliment. Okay, good, <laughs> good. So, Tanya's side. Now, sit in this hip. Oh, that's very wrong, very good. Good, now close fifth back. Good, okay, hard, right? Yeah, most of the time, uncross your fifth. Yeah, there we go. Most of the time we get there, yeah? Lots of students and dancers get there. And most of the time that happens is because we're not lifted in the lower abs. Yeah, and we don't lift up in the sporting leg. Now go Tondu's side, like she already did correctly. You're going to lift in the lower back, lift in the, sorry, lower back, lower abs, and you're gonna close with your supporting leg. Then you have all the space in the world to cross the fifth. So what I'm saying is usually when the fifth back isn't cross enough is because there's no space and you create space by lifting the supporting leg. So it just slides right into that fifth. So with the en quoi twice, and one, and two, and three, we're gonna make sure we get to every direction. Fifth, yeah, very linear, show me. Front and fifth, and fifth, and fifth, and fifth, and fifth. Okay, good, yeah. She good. All right. <laughs> Fifth, big fifth, big fifth, big fifth, fifth, and cross two, three, four, two leg up and down. thing I did see though, yes, go to Retire. When I said lift the heart, lift the heart. Haha, -ha, not the ribs. Just right there, just right there. It's such a small thing, but look at that now. Look at yourself, Taylor, you look good. Yeah, very good. Good. Yes, it's such a small, relax. <laughs> this is why I picked her, because she does not stop working. When, we, when, the, when your teacher gives you all these Adjustment, adjustments, they're usually micro adjustments, yeah? Again, it's, you, you stand there, here, and the teacher goes, lift, lift up, keep your ribs in, lift up, keep your ribs in, right? It, it's, it's really, really difficult to understand, and that's where we lift the, again, we lift the heart through the collarbone, up through the neck without expanding the ribs. Then we have a nice straight place like Taylor's standing right there, but she can lift in her neck a little bit longer. There, uh, lower abs. There we go, energy out of the legs. Now, yeah, so that was so subtle. You felt the difference, right? And I think they even saw the difference. You know, maybe, maybe Catherine will have a nice zoom in to see the micro adjustments, because it's so little. Usually they're not even seen, which is how, which is how all those ball uh, professional ballerinas on stage can balance forever, and they look completely steel, still, but internally, in what she's feeling on stage, is everything. <laughs> we don't see it, though, because they're so small, but there's energy going constantly in a balance. So in other words, you don't ever sit in a balance. It's an active position. So why don't we go right here on the left side? Yeah, while we're talking about it. Go up, right here. Now. She's gonna find this balance, arms in first, and she's gonna keep this ankle supported here. Her retire is gonna keep lifting. Yeah, so those toes go up through the top of the head, and her heart's gonna keep lifting, and her ribs are gonna keep going in, and the ankle's gonna be stabilized with the rotation of the leg, and the retire is gonna keep opening. Lift, lift, keep growing. Keep growing. There it was, Taylor. Okay, good, 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 good. Yeah, lots of work. All right, let's do something easy. Sound, sound good? 
We're gonna go Rana Jam. We go six, seven, take the bar. We go Parashava plie. Su, su, and plie. Su, su, and plie. Su, su, retire, plie devant. With the arm in first. We open the arm to go to the Rana Jam. One, two, three, four. We go plie batma. Up, tendu, plie, sorry, keep the arm up. Plie, up, tendu, fifth. Open the arm, we go, parshaval, plie, tendu, su, su, and front, su, su, and side, su, su, retire, plie, open the arm back, two, three, four, plie, bat manjete. With the arm up, yes, plie, bat manjete, tendu, fifth. We'll do a go over a porta bra in a second. So what I like in but manjete is plie with it because what happens is you go in that plie low attitude and you get to press this leg into the floor to lift your leg up and you also use opposition to lift as you lower the tendu. So let's see, Miss Taylor. Plie, batma, and lift. Good, very nice. Okay, so that is why I like plie. A lot of teachers do straight legged, which is absolutely fine and very, it's actually more difficult in a good way that you have to feel the lift in the straight leg. So both are very, very, very um, um, good for you. Do you remember the combination? Because it was like 15 minutes ago. Parjava plie, susu, plie, susu, plie, susu. Seven, plie, eight. Open the arm, keep it there. One, and two, and three, and four. We go plie, up, tendu, plie. Up, keep the abs in, tendu fifth, and back. Plie, ha, 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 Plie up, plie up. Good. She knows, this is how I teach my classes usually, and you have to pick it up quicker. It's just the way it goes. Da, 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 go, right? Okay. Now the porta bra after this, I always love to do this, more coordination with the pelvis and the, cord and the core, right? We go plie front and in, four counts, three, all the way around, and five, six, plie front and up. Inside leg, we go to a lunge in the arabesque line with the arms and fourth, all the way down without the knee on the floor. Tendu, yes, it's good for your shape though. Use your abs to hold. Ouch. Yes. <laughs> Flex the foot over, forward. I'll probably fix you on that to get that nice burn and tingle in the hamstring. Yes. Fourth position, porter bra back. Now here is something I want to talk about. We're going to go up to attitude balance. We're going to find the balance. We're going to extend the arabesque. We're going to close susu. We're going to lift to fifth to finish. Why don't we go to fourth now? Yes, yeah, so a fourth croise. She goes porter bra back. Now she comes up, she finds here. Now, lift up, good. Now she's gonna push off of, off of the back leg, over this leg, and this hand, she already did it, because she knows me, good. So we don't want to press through. We can't really see that, so um, it's all right. Yes, we wanna keep, we wanna press the heart, hand in the front of the heart, because ladies doing Rose Adagio, you don't want your guys over here. Yeah, you want to hold there, because what that does is she lets go straight up to the position. There we go. Now, very nice. Now take the bar. Now drop, 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 rest, 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 rest. Yeah, because now I'm going to pick it apart. Okay, so, <laughs> yes, attitude. <laughs> attitude cause. Now, when we're here, very good, Taylor, go up. Go up. So, this is your fourth on the floor already, we're here, shaped. This ankle's held with this muscle, yeah? Our lower abs are here. We lift the attitude. Oh, look out, you had like six inches more. Yeah, keep it there. Yes, lift there. Now, the left shoulder has to go forward. Here's your opposition. You're crossing, but you're also lifting as you cross. Now let go. Good, lift in that now. When you fall forward, okay, relax. When you fall forward, lift in the front of the hip. When you fall back, lift the attitude. Good. Yes, that's very square. Turn into the bar a little bit more. There we go. Cross A. There we go. There we go. Yes, lift the attitude. Good. There's the balance. Now when you extend, press the right shoulder forward. 
Good, very nice. When, when you find that balance, which was really good on this side, yeah, when you extend, you, wanna, you don't want to just twist, but you do want to push that shoulder lifting forward. Yeah, and that'll keep you square. So, but not like this, this. Yeah, so just go tendu arabesque, yes? This is coming forward all the time, yeah? Open the shoulder, but there we go, yeah? So when you extend, like watch, lift the leg. Forward, 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 forward. There we go. Yeah, so, so what it is, Taylor, is, is you're here, yeah? It's very, very common to lift the leg with your back. And we don't want to lift the leg with the back. We want to press into the floor, okay? So what that means is you want to avoid even just the littlest. When you extend the arabesque, even just that is already not good. You want to resist. You want to go that way. Yeah? Yeah. Lift the leg. Right shoulder. There. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Maybe we will keep that in. Yeah. Good. How do you feel? That was cute. That's going on the video. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I would like to remind the audience that Taylor is 12. She's amazing. Just keep that in mind. Okay. <laughs> smile. Take that smile all the way through. Six, seven, take the and use it. Leo. Su, su, and Su, su. I'll scone. Su, su, retire. Up, tendu four. And uh, one, two, three, four. And plie up, and plie up, time to fit, and long, lift, lift, and up, retire, time to go arabesque, open the arm, and shape the arm, wrist, and plie up, good, four counts around, here we go. Four, three, two, on one. Just reverse. And forward. Up, inside leg, Tom, you wear best. Lunge down, arms and forth. Stay. Good. Five, six, seven. Knee down, stretch the hamstring. Now this is important. Yes, we have square hips. We lengthen the lower spine. Pull this back. And the toes are to the ceiling. Oh, yeah. That should burn. So good. And first position. Portable. And up. Now find the bounce. Up. And extend. Susu. And take your knee. And finish. Very good. That's Taylor. Here we go. Stretch the hamstring. Good. All of it square. Good. You already know. Very good. Toes up. Good. Five. Six. Seven. And come up to fourth. Put bra back. And up. And find the 
pounds. Lift up in this foreign leg. Lift the out two. Lift the arabesque. Lift. And maitre Finish. Good, Taylor. Very nice. Let's go to frappe now. Yeah? We're going to go six, seven, and tendu. And a one, two, three. A side, two, three. A back, two, three. A side, two, three. Double front, double side, double back, double plie. Petit bat ma in sudo coup de pie. Six, seven, stay up. A back, two, three. A side, two, three. A front, front, front. Nice, Taylor. Side, two, three. I'll tell you why soon. Da, da, and da, 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 da. Extend, detourne. So, she already did what I want. On releve, yeah, so I like flex frappes when we're on flat for my default. And when we go to releve, I like wrapped. Why? Because it is so much more work in shaping the legs. So do not go coupe front and coupe back. Go wrap and coupe back. So de coupe derriere, yes? What it does is it makes us lift. So go, go to coupe releve, there. So when we go this petit pas ma, go side, da, 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 da. See how lovely that is? It requires, that's really pretty, rest. Because you're gonna do it again, yes? Very, very, very good. When we go coupe front and coupe back, I find it's very easy to get the bad habit of this. When we do wrapped, your heel, wrap, your heel, go there and then go back, is only moving this much, which requires you to now go fast, to go side to side and her knee is staying in one place. Very good. Frappe is Taylor's thing. Okay, frappe side. Can you just go flex on flat? Just frappe side, go one, two, three. Very pretty. So her ankle is totally shaped and let's talk about why. Yeah, go to flexed, in, there you go. <laughs> yes, when you reach your leg out, yeah, you have to get all the way long. You shape the ankle from here, go, lengthen. Yeah, then the ankle's shaped and you don't have to worry about pointing. If you point too hard, your foot ankle will sickle. Now go to the back, coupe back, there you go. Now go back. Yeah, look at that pretty shaped leg. Now go fast. Oh, one, two, three. Now, one of the habits of frappe derriere, go back to flex. Now relax, because I'm gonna manipulate your leg, is going frappe strike, and not really stretching, stretching. relax, relax. Get in here, <laughs> yeah? We go, we usually go like soft, soft, long, and I actually wanna see three long frappes. One, two, three. Yes, frappe back is actually very, very, very difficult to get the leg extended at a high speed. So we do that from here, right? We go lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. It's a cross fourth again. Go for it, Taylor. Long, long, long. There's pretty, good. Do we have a combination? Three, on qua, da, 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 double front, double side, double back, double plie, yeah, da, 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 extend. A back, two, three, on releve. All wrapped. A da, 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 double back, no plie because you're already up. And yet, da, 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 extend, detourne. Si bueno? We. Good. <laughs> Here we go. One, two, three. Side, two, three. Back, two, three. Side, two, three. Double. Long, long, long. Plie. Yet, da, 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 da. Extend to the back. this combination on releve. Six, seven, su, su. Develope foot. Two, arrive. Four, and we stay. Six, seven, su, su, eight. Now remember when we go su, su, we don't drop the leg. We lift out of the sporting side to get taller as we close su, su. So Alice Cohen, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, 
plie arabesque with the arm open and alice gone. Now I want you to go through a plie first to brush. And your inner thighs lift and you lift your leg in arabesque as you foite. And then we're going to ponche on releve there and close through eight. I'll pick a faster one. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let me see Susu. Now, Devant. We're just gonna look at each side. Yeah, Devapay Devant. Get there. Arrive. Now, most of your teachers will say bring that hip back. Then they're correct. But let's talk about, I'll hold it. Let's talk about how. Yeah? So go wrong. Sure, reach your right hip forward. There we go. So we get this hip back by bringing the inner thigh around. Yeah, that is how we keep the hip back and down and then we have that shaped leg. Alice Cone is the same, yeah? Now, most would say this is too far and they're correct. Yes, we wanna bring that hip around and this hip stays down with that inner thigh. That's really pretty, turn out good, arabesque. Yes, we actually wanna, now lots of people's knees get soft. She just straightened her knee, but soften your knee again. I want you to lengthen here, lengthen here. That will shape in your knee, or shape, that will shape your knie. Good, all right, relax, relax, relax. Good, plie arabesque on this side, left leg, yeah? Now, when you do this forte, go for it. Use both arms, lift front, and to the other side, yes, okay. That was cute, let's do that again. Good, <laughs> now, we want, that's perfect, that's perfect for film. Good, yes? Plie to first, yeah? We want to plie. Now from here, everybody, where your inner thighs are gonna bring your foot front. You're gonna go up as soon as you get to almost your height. You're gonna foite alice cone. When you get to arabesque, you can grab the bar, but you're gonna lift your leg, okay? So plie, use both arms, brush front, front side back, lift the arabesque. Very nice, because the arabesque actually lifts you onto this leg. If you drop your leg because you're falling back, drop your leg because you're falling back, guess what happens? You fall back, you continue to fall back. Yeah, and then the ponche, don't worry about it. We'll watch it in the combination. Arms, open, draw susu, eight, devil pay. One, two, three, you there, four, you stay in her thighs, stay, six, seven, susu, eight, devil pay. One, two, three, four, Oh, very good. Six, that's a very good position, Taylor. Su, su, eight. Devil pay your best. Slow. If you get there early, you'll have to stay longer. Eyes. Hi, Taylor. There you are. Seven, plie, eight. And plie with your first brush. Up, 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 lift the leg. I got it. Good punche. Beautiful. Taylor, showing off. Su, su, and. Foot, two, three, hip, rotate, 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 there you go, there it is, they all saw it, even more, there, and, how's it going, good, arm up, oh, and the hip needs to drop, so what do we do, we rotate, lift, good, there it is, and, rest, stay, five, Seven, three, eight, and go, show it, show off, lift the leg, lift it, lift it, there, that was a good fix, manche, manche, and up, susu, and plie, fifth on eight, that was an excellent fix on that foot Miss Taylor, it's good, good, up, and the fifth, up, and the fifth, up, tendu, up, and the fifth, that's it. Back and the fifth, back and the fifth, back tendu, back and the fifth. Side, fifth, side, fifth, side tendu, side, fifth. Attitude, 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 lift, susu, the, and plie, that's all. One and the two, three and the four, one, two tendu, up and the fifth, arabesque, fifth, back, fifth, back, two tendu, up and the fifth, side, fifth, side, fifth, side, two tendu, up and the fifth, back and the front, back and releve, susu, detourne with the arm up, and plie in fifth, okay? So, 
unless you're doing an exercise that's like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I actually don't want to see this from anybody. I'm going to show it wrong because if I hurt myself, I'm fine. Yes? Up. Ugh. I don't want to see some crazy grab and grip in your hip. All it takes is pressing from the supporting leg. There's a trend, right? The whole bar. Yes, yeah, so you lift out the supporting leg. Up, finesse. You lower this leg not by gripping your hip flexor, but by lifting there. You get taller. Show, show Devant. Up, lift up. Up, and fifth. Good. Yes. So now all that Devapay stuff that we talked about, the hip and everything being level, and down, make sure you keep that, yeah? So we don't want to lift Alice Cohn. Wah. Yeah? So two front, one with Tondu, and one fifth. Two back, one with Tondu, up fifth. Two side, one with Tondu, up fifth. Back and the front, then the back strictly lift. Susu, detourne. Big, nice plie, drop the arm and lift it with the next leg. Si bueno? We. Oui. Oui. Okay. Good. Up, fifth. Up, tendu. Up, fifth. More energy up. Up. Si song. Si song the legs. That is one of my bars, yeah, one of my mini, yeah, but um, you should be completely set up for center at this point, we would hope, if you do all of that stuff, right, Taylor? She's going to do eight pirouettes off camera, so you guys won't be able to see it, but it's, that's how on, on her leg she is, so, okay, let's do a reverence together to finish, yeah, I'm going to move these bars for us, right foot front, fifth croise, you just follow along, okay? Quarter bar forward, lifting the legs. And lengthen out and up. And quarter bar back, arms in fourth. Arms through first. Tondu Oscon on fast. Side. Tondu Lee. Run the jump. Front. Croise twist river arts. Pique Susu, no berets. Back leg. Plie. And forward. Lengthen. Lift out. And lower abs come up. Good. Long leg. Twist. Do this every class. Go pique susu. We're going to stay. Back leg. Lift. Lift and plie. We're not finished till we lift up. On arches are lifted. Long. Good. Thank you, everybody, very much for joining us at BAR. Thank you, Ms. Taylor, for being tortured, I mean, being trained today. Yes? We appreciate, uh, we appreciate you being here. It's a big deal. Ms. Catherine appreciates you being here, too. Yeah? Of course she does. It's her idea. Yeah? So, anyway, thank you very much, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you, Taylor. Plus, she always likes to do bloopers too, so, you know. Yeah, like me going like this. <laughs> yeah. there you go. She does have a voice, everybody. She just is very shy. Tondu, tondu, tondu. She's going to cut a lot of this out. I talk too much. You know that. I barely get through bars sometimes because I just talk. And then I tell stories too. Yeah. Okay, so. <laughs> da, 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 da. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh.
That's going on the bloopers. You're one eye rolling back in your head. That's good. That's a good Donald O'Connor um, face. That was good. I liked it. Is it nervous? Is it nerve wracking to be on camera? Me too. I'm getting more and more used to it. But luckily, I have an editing wizard that makes me sound good, even I'm all over the place. So that's why we're only doing bar, Taylor. Otherwise, we'd get nowhere. So. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this class with Taylor and Chris. Isn't she the most adorable thing? 12. 12 years old. And you can see he really takes pride and is very passionate about his teaching and the way he molds a class. And I think it's just brilliant. So um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you do want to do a center right now, I will link Chris's intermediate center for you. So you have a center class to do. Love you guys so much. And I'll see you next time.